This is News For You with Perry Peltz. Well, if you want to change the way Americans think about using and conserving energy, you got to start young and think green. As Amy Nuzzo tells us, that advice is being followed in a most unlikely place. Hi, Amy. Sorry. Hi, Perry. Well, you know, Manhattan is like the last place you'd probably expect to find a solar-powered building. We came upon one in a most unlikely spot, and it turns out thousands of school children have already discovered it. In the East River along 23rd Street stands a tiny island of conservation in a sea of fuel consumption. Tucked under the FDR drive between a gas station and a Con Ed power plant, you'll find Solar One. You get your energy from the sun? We oh. get our energy from the sun. Good job. A okay. solar powered classroom where kids come to learn about energy and the environment. So if there's less smoke, then that can help to slow down. Global warming. Global warming, right? We're creating a new generation of New Yorkers to think about how we use energy differently. Kids today are now understanding that there's a connection between the stuff that we use every day in our lives and how it gets there. Today, these second graders from PS 137 in Brownsville learn about solar energy by making solar powered cars. Whoa. I think that what they take away is they can actually find other ways in which they can actually make and use energy. You can like this for like electricity. We supposed to use a certain kind of light bulb so we don't use as much electricity. And if you, and if you're not using the um, light, you so you you're supposed to turn it off. In Solar One's first three years, roughly 8,000 students have come through, learning also about horticulture in adjacent Stuyvesant Cove Park, which the nonprofit manages as part of its lease. Solar One runs partly but not exclusively on solar power. Within the next two years, there are plans to tear the tiny structure down to make way for its 8,000 square foot replacement, Solar Two, a showcase of environmental conservation that they say will generate more power than it uses. It will be a carbon neutral building. It'll have uh, classroom space, it'll have exhibit spaces, it'll have an eco apartment. Construction begins in 2008 and Solar 2 will hopefully open in 2009. It's going to cost $12 million. They've already raised about $8 million, including $3 million that Mayor Bloomberg put in the new budget. And Perry, there will be an outdoor, an outdoor stage for uh, cultural programs that they're already doing. And if you want to find out more about those cultural programs that they have to offer, you can log on to our website at WNBC.com and click on the Going, Gre Going Green Web Resources. You'll Great. find Solar 1. All right, Amy, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Great story.